Hello everybody and welcome to Alex Elite Golf. You're probably wondering why I'm starting this video from my car. Well, there's a good question for this because I am heading down to Farmer to do a shoot with Golf Monthly. But more importantly, I've got kind of a question that somebody asked me the other day. Are golf lessons worth it? Well, as a PJ professional, I would definitely say yes. But I was thinking, a lot of these people must have the misconception or the conception that golf lessons ruin our game, sends us backwards and doesn't actually get us in a good place. So I'm going to kind of challenge that question today because with Golf Monthly, we're doing a shoot with Mike Harris where we're almost doing an overview of the whole year about how we're going to improve his game. I'm his coach. We're going to try and improve his game. So let's show you that. But more importantly, let's answer the question. So if you're new to this channel, guys, this is all about improving your golf and taking it to the next level. So make sure you subscribe. But before you do that, why don't you comment down below and say, do you think golf lessons are worth it? Yes or no? I'm going to prove to you the things that we actually need to get from a golf lesson, things we have to do to prepare for a golf lesson, and what we expect from an on-course, off-course lessons too. Let's get into it. So my, today's video is all about a question that I kind of got asked in the pro shop of the day. Do golf lessons actually work? Are they worth it? Now, from my point of view as a PJ coach, I think so, but we've been working together yeah. for about three or four months now. We've done a course lesson yeah. this afternoon, which we'll see later in the vlog, but also we've done an on-range session. Yeah. So, I think the one thing we both said to each other straight away is we're not going to ruin the swing, we're just going to try and improve ball play. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's a really important thing about lessons and I've been taking lessons more frequently over the last five years than I have in the previous 20 years I've been playing golf and I think sometimes you go for a lesson to fix something but I think the best use of a lesson is to actually to improve your golf. It's not, yeah, sometimes you need to get it back on track but also it's having an expectation of what you're going to get out of this. As you say, you, you know, you can't expect a miracle in 30, 45 minutes, even an hour. And obviously we covered quite a lot in the session at Silvermere. There's a lot of things that I took away from that. But I think going in with a realistic expectation of what you're looking to work on with a PGA Pro and what you're looking to get out of the session means that it's going to be time and money really well spent. I, I agree. And like... Straight away, we're not certainly seeing improvements in terms of scores yet because it, it, it's a whole thing, isn't yeah. it? Like, people think I go for a lesson and I improve, that's it. My scores will come yeah. down, but it, as you found out, it, it's the whole picture. Striking it better, but I'm not quite making the yeah. right decisions out on the golf course. Absolutely. Now, I think that, of course, what a, what a lesson with a PGA Pro, a series of lessons with a PGA Pro do is they will look to improve upon a weakness or to, to, to groove good moves. And as you say, whether it's shot shape whether it's ball flight and i've certainly noticed my ball flight has been a lot better a lot more consistent uh my quality of strike is a lot better and as, as you know you were saying i just need to translate that <laughs> into fewer strokes around the golf course and that's you know that's about course management i know we're going to look a little bit about, about that later and i think that's also something that's worth looking at working with a PJ Pro, but um, everybody loves new golf equipment and it's very tempting to go and buy a new driver or a new set of irons. Uh, and there's a you know, lot to be said for investing in the best equipment that you can afford, but really lessons with PGA Pros is the only way I think that you will get sustainable improvement in your golf game. So I'd say to whoever is in the shop saying, oh, golf lessons are a waste of time. It's not, you need to look at um, the specific improvements you can make within a lesson and then the changes you're looking to make over time. It, but it's not, one lesson is not going to, unless you're doing something drastically yeah. wrong, uh, that is a fault that needs to be fixed, it's maybe something like your grip or your, uh, your stance that's really causing a, you know, a really destructive shot shape. You're not going to fix your whole golf game in one lesson. Equally, you're not going to become an amazing iron striker by buying a new set of irons. Golf's a difficult game, you need to work at it, you need expert help. So I, I'm a huge uh, fan of uh, putting your trust in a PGA Pro, working with them to try and move your game forward, build on the good stuff, obviously eradicate those faults. So yeah, absolutely, it's an investment that I think is absolutely crucial if you want to be better at golf and enjoy the game more. One final thing, what do you expect as a club golfer from a golf lesson? Do you expect it to be a drill, a tip, a feeling, improve your knowledge? What do you expect? I think it's just, it could be one thing and it could be any one of those um, things that, as I said, you're not going to change everything in, in one lesson. So I think if, if you go away from a lesson, uh, and if, as long as you are hitting balls, whether it's in an indoor studio or out on the range, and you see 
one shot that to you is, in inverted commas, perfect, that it's, you're achieving the ball fly, all the shot shape you're setting out to work towards, that's the thing that made you think, yes, that was time and money well spent. That gives you motivation to go and work it, you know, whether it's a drill you've been given, whether it's just time on the practice ground, trying to groove and move. Um, one thing, that's your, you know, that should be a takeaway, I think. You, you're not gonna suddenly go out, you know, ripping every shot, but, you know, one shot where you see, say, whether it's ball flight or shot shape, you're looking to, to either eradicate or work towards. That's what you should be looking to get out of lesson. Go in with realistic expectations. You're not suddenly gonna be winning the club medal, um, <laughs> you know, the next round, but it should be about consistent, achievable uh, performance, I think. And don't be scared that someone's not gonna go and pick it apart, is are they? Absolutely, I, and I think that's the thing. People think, oh, I'm gonna go for a lesson that, you know, if you've got a, a funky grip or, you know, a slightly unusual move in your swing, a good PJ Pro is not going to want to try and break everything down, start from scratch. They're going to want to work with what you've got, look at your strengths, look at your weaknesses, and help you achieve what you're looking to do. Um, you know, with your game, whether it's better iron striking, whether it's more distance with the driver, whether it's more consistent short game. Know what you want to achieve. That communication with the PJ Pro, I think, is so important. And then you, you know, you're going to get more enjoyment out of the game. You're going to be playing better golf. Perfect, Matt. Let's head to the end course. Yeah, look forward to it. It's now time to head down to the golf course, do a bit of a swing check. So at the start, you saw us do a little bit in the gym, then down to the golf course in terms of doing a bit on the range, and then my favourite part of coaching, getting a player on the course and seeing if you can improve their swing out on the golf course and then potentially improve ball flight as well, because that's the most important thing. Does our swing perform when under our pressure? So, and I mean our pressure in terms of whatever that level that may be. And can we actually manage ourselves around the golf course? As you saw with Mike there, we did a little bit of... Okay, we're in a bad scenario, what would we do from here? Did a little bit of pre-shot routine, okay, this is thinking zone, playing zone, and ultimately helping him prepare the best for his level of golf. Now, Mike plays off nine, and this pre-shot routine, I think a lot of people only categorize that with the kind of elite players, whereas anybody can do this, and anybody can help themselves prepare for a shot better, and these are things that a golf coach will help you do. It's not necessarily just try to work on a swing, work on a position. They will help you manage your game, help you play better golf, and it doesn't have to be tearing your swing apart, so trust it. There's not a lot more to just a normal bog standard lesson everybody thinks of. You've got the on course, you've got the mental, you've got short game, long game, and you've got things that you, you quite think, quite possibly, I think you wouldn't actually categorize the lesson. So guys, smash those comments down below. Let me know, are you gonna take a golf lesson now after looking at these videos? And you can take golf lessons from different people in different areas of the game. You could have a long game coach, short game coach, and mental coach. Why not adopt the approach like the pros? I'm not saying you have to go to the best and the ones that are the most expensive, because very often, sometimes, just going to somebody that gives you a nice, simple feeling is the best thing you can do. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button to not miss any of the daily related content.